San Luis Valley in Colorado is a region rich in tradition, whose roots come from a history developed over centuries by Native American, European, and distinct regional cultures. This cultural process is still going on in the valley, demonstrating continual change while maintaining the essence of its origins. Today on Valley Traditions, we present New Mexican and Southern Colorado Hispanic folk songs. of folk song in the upper Rio Grande region is the copla, popularly called versos. Originally from Spain, the copla consists of four lines with eight syllables per line and an ABAB or ABCB rhyme scheme. El pobre venadito, or the poor little deer, follows the copla pattern doubled into eight lines. In spite of its title, El pobre venadito is actually about people rather than deer. Specifically, it deals with the theme of human courtship in a very humorous, teasing manner. In the following verse, the deer states, Since I am a serious man, I don't like to have just one. I like to have two in case one of them gets mad at me. <laughs> Glenn 
Brenda Maez and Valentina Cárdenas of San Luis, Colorado, recall how they learned El Pobre Venadito. This is the first song I ever learned. Pero I was about six years old, probably, not even. I had to be about four years old. And I forgot it by the time I was about nine, because I don't remember ever performing this song. But it was the first song I learned. The tune always stayed with me, but the word mm -hmm. went. And that was about ten years old when I heard it the first time. My father used to sing it, and I learned it from him. And then I used to hear it from my cousin who lived in Walkenburg. And he used to play guitar and used to say, come down and help me, so I used to, and I learned it from him too. But it's supposed to be a real old song too. Another regional type of folk song is the Indita, a musical form that the early Hispanic settlers adapted from the Native Americans. The Indita can refer either to an instrumental dance tune or to a song with a strong Indian beat. El Tecolotito, or the Little Owl, is an example of an Indita with words. It is sung here by Cleofas Vigil of San Cristobal, New Mexico. about how he composed or recreated this song, El Tecolotito, based on a version he learned from his grandmother. Well, you know, I, uh, grandma used to sing a song about the Tecolotito, and uh, I love that music so much that 
When I was about nine years old, my grandfather took me down for the first time to the Rio Grande to fish. And for the first time, I saw a big owl sitting in a rock, and I was afraid. And I told Grandpa to leave, let's go home, because there is an ugly-looking animal there sitting in a rock, and I was afraid. And Grandpa took a look at, at this uh, big bird owl. It was an owl. He laughed, and he said, don't be afraid. My son is only an owl. He won't harm you. So anyhow, I was so excited about it. So when I came home, I told my grandma about that owl. And then she was a great singer. And uh, I couldn't forget that ugly-looking animal down at the Rio Grande Gorge that day. So finally, Grandma and I, I composed and she helped me and I came with that song, El Teconocito del Rio Grande. The following song, La Rancherita, or The Female Rancher, probably does not originate in the upper Rio Grande region. The verse structure and tune more closely resemble a ranchera which comes from northern Mexico and southern Texas. Like many New Mexican folk songs, it is not, strictly speaking, indigenous to the area. Yet, the song's description of a little ranch with fruit trees and an horno or outdoor earthen oven resembles the traditional way of life in northern New Mexico and southern Colorado, such that a singer from this region might well feel that the song describes his or her own family homestead. Flora Romero of Manassa, Colorado, sings La Rancherita with Joff Weeks on guitar. Ando en busca de una prieta que le venga mi chaqueta y que me quiera acompañar. A buscar de una chatita de derecha y muy bonita más allá de la encina. Las paredes son de piedra cubierta al frente con hiedra techada de tea. from European waltzes and polkas, or composed locally, is still a major element in the regional folk music. Juan Chacon of San Luis, Colorado, plays a dance tune of his own composition entitled 
Juan Chacón Corrido on accordion, organ, and drum. composition is El Cieguito, or The Blind Man, which tells the sad tale of a young man who has lost his sight and can no longer look at his sweetheart. Valentin Ortiz of La Jara, Colorado, recalls that this song was very popular with World War II veterans in this region. He surmises that the author was New Mexican. Yeah, I, I, I think he was from New Mexico, and, and uh, because especially in Batan, during the Japanese war over there, most of them New Mexico boys, they got killed over there. And a lot of them survived, but in a bad shape. So that's how come I say it. Somebody in New Mexico wrote that song for this boy, you know, that was blind. Valentin Ortiz is joined by Cecilia Montoya in this rendition of El Cieguito.
peregrinos de los cuatro vientos, somos caminantes de Cristo el Señor. Somos peregrinos de los cuatro vientos, somos caminantes de Cristo el Señor. Venimos del este, norte, sur y oeste, y te presentamos todo nuestro amor. Venimos del este, norte, sur y oeste, te presentamos todo nuestro amor. Somos peregrinos de los cuatro vientos, somos caminantes de Cristo el Señor. Somos peregrinos de los cuatro vientos, somos caminantes de Cristo el Señor. Hermanos peregrinos de lejos venimos a traer la gloria a nuestro Señor. Hermanos peregrinos de lejos venimos a traer la gloria a nuestro Señor. Somos peregrinos de los cuatro vientos. Somos caminantes de Cristo el Señor, somos peregrinos de los cuatro vientos, somos caminantes de Cristo el Señor. Todo el sufrimiento que traemos de Cristo, por lo que hacemos en signo de amor, todo el sufrimiento que traemos de Cristo, por lo que hacemos en signo de amor. impact represented by the song El Tecolotito to the suffering of World War II veterans to modern day religious pilgrimages. These songs offer a personal glimpse into the cultural history of this unique and fascinating region. This has been Valley Traditions. cultural portrait of the people of the San Luis Valley and their folklore. Produced by Dana Everts for KRZA-FM and the Rio Grande Art Center of Alamosa, Colorado. With funding from the National Endowment for the Arts, and the Colorado Council on the Arts and Humanities Folk Arts Program. Musical theme by the Manzanares family. Narration by Elaine Salazar.